The Twilight Zone, 1959. Young Man's Fancy. You're travelling through another dimension. Dimension not only sight and sound, but mind. Join the wondrous land. Boundaries of that imagination. Next stop, the Twilight Zone. Looking at the house of late Miss Heretta, Heretta Walker. This is Mrs. Walker herself. She appeared 25 years ago. That, that, and this is set for isolated objects. The living room of Miss Walker's house. She appeared in that same year. Never room upstairs and down. That's about the same. Time over is not 25 years ago. But now, house of late Mrs. Heretta Walker. As you, as you see, house it belongs almost entirely to the past. House which, like Miss Walker, clock here, has ceased to recognise the passage of time. One element is missing now. One remaining item is the state of the late Miss Walker. Her son Alex, 34 years of age, up until 20 minutes ago, so-called perennial bachelor, with him his bride, and former Miss Virginia Lane, returning from the city hall in order to get Mrs. Walker's clothes packed, make phone arrangements for sale of her house, lock it up and depart for them on their honeymoon. No COVID set of tasks appear, and yet the newlyweds Miss Walker Really when Miss Walker is back to discover old adage you can't go home again. There's a little meaning in the Twilight Zone. Thank you, darling. Well, well. Shall we get started, darling? Yes, of course. Did you call me Mr. S- Mr. Wilkerson and tell him when we'll be back? Oh, I do know I forgot. Well, you better call him now, then. You have to sign the papers before we leave. Yes, of course. I thought it'd be like clean up the place there before we left. I'll get out of here. Oh, and you can go call Mr. Wilkerson. I thought I left his card right here. Can't seem to find it. Well, I've got a number for information now, of course. Look, I'll tell you what. You go up and pack and I'll call Mr. Wilkerson. All right. Oh, darling, is it going to be all right? I'm so happy to be Mrs. Malker. At last, after all these years. Go on, go up and pack. Right, all right. Or would you give me the number, Mr. Wilkerson, reality, reality, please, on Main Street. Thank you, Mr. Wilkerson. Virginia Lane. I mean, Virginia Walker. Yes, just now. Oh, thank you, Mr. Wilkerson. Oh, yes, very, very, I'm very happy. Yes, we're back now. Oh, we're, if you bring the papers over to Mr. Mr. Walker and sign them, you show the house where we've gone. Oh, gone. Oh, wait away. Fine. We'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Alex, I thought you were going, got, we're going on. There's, a, there's plenty of time. We think we should take out of here, remove the television set, I guess, huh? Electric clock. It's only a few years old. Darling, I thought we decided to discuss all after the house was sold. Sold? I know. Just may, thought may, maybe we should decide now. I mean, like a kitchen, for instance. Take, may, I'll take the refrigerator and stove. They're pretty new. Bought them for mother a few months ago. Before he died. All right, that's fine. Because it later. We've really got to leave. Of course. Well, what about the radio? Pretty old. We could have it fixed. Maybe it works now. Look at it. There's a ton of it. Look at all carvings, all the work they put into it. Craft the programs we used to hear on this. Major Bowles, Fred Allen, and move all the music. We sit in here all the time listening to music. I was afraid that it was Eddie Dunchy. I just remember she used to be used to be crazy about a record. It was called Lady in Red. You remember that, huh? A Lady in Red? All the fairs are crazy for the Lady in Red broken. I knew it was. She used to sit in this chair and look at the movie magazines. Funny you should remember that, too. She gave it up a long time ago. Sometimes she made a pan of fridge for us. We sat there, Alex, darling, come on. You see here, Alex, come on. We have to leave when Mr. Alex cousin come. Maybe we could fix, get this fixed. It used to be a real good look, good clock. We discuss it that later. He's mine now. You never get the, the claws of him again, Alex, Alex. I was just looking at my old things that mother kept. kept. Look, looks as good as ever, new, ever. No, Alex, I thought you were going, you were look, going, you were going, look. Hardy boys in secret caves. Bill Bolton and hidden dangers. Tarzan ant men. Tarzan and Jaws as well, pal. Alex, please, remember these funny old things. Alex and the stockings that went with them. Stockings for a boy? It makes the real boy, takes the real boy to fit no real stocking. I think you remember that quote from the end of the mail or the catalogue. Oh, gosh, must be 25 years ago. I wonder why Mother kept them. Because she would have liked you to stay exactly where you were when you first wore them. I'm sorry, Alex, I didn't mean that. 
You're not angry with me, are you? No. Just I want us to be happy. Alex, that's all I ever wanted. Do you want me to help? I can manage. You aren't angry with me, are you? No. I'll make you happy, Alex. You see, you won't be sorry. I'll wait. Oh, wait for me, Mr. Wilkinson. Up, upstairs. Should be here any moment now. Don't want to sell the house. I don't want to sell it. Mother. I have after Mr. Wilkinson. Walker. Oh, Mr. Wilkinson. Won't you come in? Thank you kindly, madam. Oh, don't you, won't you c- c- go in the living room to get Mr. Walker? Fine and Danny Alex. Alex Donnie. Mr. Wilkinson, here with the papers. Oh, yes, of course. After him, Mr. Walker. Gracious to you, sir. With the papers right here, madam. Oh, Phil Fur, but first, I wonder. Who tell me you used to telephone? See, so you forgot all to tell Mr. Craig where I'll be. Been a good import, pretty good call from downtown. I'll call her for you. Oh, well, all right. Well, in that case, Mr. Wilker, why do you use the burning room table? Fine and Danny, off to you, sir. Make it as soon as possible, darling. We uh, really have to leave. Now, then, as you should see, by you, Mr. Walker. Well, I think we'll do it. I, I would do it better do it myself. I have to tell my secretary some things anyway. You sign right here, Mr. Walker. Maggie, Jim, I'm right at the Walker's house. Will you put it call through to me here? It comes for the next like, 10 to 15 minutes, so. Fine, I'll call Mr. Fisher. Tell him that this call been approved for 60 days. I've all ready for him to sign, right? Fine, and Danny, I'll see you, Maggie. Bye. No, sir. If you want any trouble setting this house up, oh. There's something you don't understand, Mr. Walker. Oh, no. Think I wait. Wait? Yes, until we return. I want to think about it. But, darling, I just want to talk. think about it, Alex. I'm sorry to cause you so much trouble, Mr. Walker. Walker says, sure, sure. But I'm positive. Well, all right. Get in touch when you return. Please. Well, you have a nice honeymoon. Even I'll never mind. Miss Lane, Miss Walker, I'll pack. Alex, Alex, you promise. What do you mean? You mean, you know what I mean, you promised to sell this house. No, I'm not backing down, Birch. I'm not, I just want a little time to think about it, that's all. But say to think about it. Well, I just don't like the people tramping in and out. Well, it's just an excuse. Is that a reason? Oh, yes, it is, Birch. All right, never mind. Just pack and let's get out of here. What is it? Can't, I mean, can't we live here? Birch, Birch, it's a pretty nice house, though, Birch. No, don't say no about thinking about it. We could really decorate. I want to get out of here. I want to be right, leave right now. I actually promised me when your mother died to sell this house. Well, she's dead. I actually she's dead. You've been dead for a year now. Waited a year and all the years before. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you. And now I want my own hand. I will not have a right to that. Don't look at me like that. Please don't look at me as if you don't know me. Alex, please, please don't do this to me. I love you. I don't want to, I to care for you. Make a home for you. And I'm uh, not, not our uh, home, not hers. We made you so dull, darling. How? I know you got told me she was sick. It wasn't, and she couldn't, well, couldn't she? She's too sick, Verge. You lost her health, didn't care of me. But they his house for more than 20 years. Father deserted us when I was two months old, Verge. Two months old, all right, all right, let's go. Let's get out of here, Verge. I'm not going to sell the house, Verge. I have to redecorate it. Maybe you get some new furniture. We'll talk about it later, no, Alex. I don't let I won't let you. I get out of here. I'll get my purse. I won't let you I won't let you, Alex. Alex, no. No, you can't have him. You can't have him. He's mine now. Mine, yes, he is. Because I'd right with him. I'm right for him. Don't try to destroy him like you did. I never make him strong, not weak, not dependent. It's, yes, it's true. You always know it's true. You hated it me for it. Well you hated this is it Well, your hatred is strong enough now. You decide to dominate him isn't strong enough. He's not your little boy anymore. Leave him be. Will you? You'll not have him back. This is not what you're doing. Come back to me, mother. I want you. The two. Alex, but you, not you. Oh, can we go to the park then, to the zoo? For a nice, have a nice, nice, two ice cream cones? Oh, boy, go away, lady. We need you any, we don't need you anymore. Exit Miss Virginia Lane. Formally, most briefly, Miss Anne Alex Walker. She's given up battle. A strange way we treat you. This has been a retreat back to reality. The opponent was Alex Walker. Will now and forever hold the line. Is this in the past? He is now claiming a moment in time. It's not about to replenish it. Such things do happen in a twilight zone.